Welcome back from the break. So let's go ahead and continue with our project. And do not forget to subscribe, like, and share. Okay, so let's go ahead. Uh, right now we have 862 subscribers. Only 18 in the, past of, uh, the last 28 days. But let's go ahead and do what we're supposed to do. Don't forget to like and share. Donate, okay? Because now this project is going to be free. It's a pilot project. If it works... We need support to make sure that we pay for the server time and whatsoever. All right. So, previously, we, were, we wanted to display data, for example, concerning the eggs, the broilers, and whatsoever. So, we want the moment someone comes in, of course, the dashboard will be having just statistics. So, we're going to first deal with layers, and then we'll go to the two seasons of broilers. So, when we go to broilers, we shall be looking at the two seasons. So I need to display the layer information here, okay? And one thing I'm going to do is make sure that I connect to the authenticated user and then we check if we are actually getting the right information. So we're going to do the basic and then we shall use the view router that we've installed. All right, so let's go ahead. So we are going to go to, I think, let me see. We're going to go to layers, okay? Then under layers, we're going to do something. All right, so I'll minimize this so that we have more space. So under layers, we're going to create methods. So I'll just do VM methods, V methods. Uh, but you can type methods and then you do the method name. Okay, so the method is going to be, let's say, get layers. Get layers. Okay, then I include information for get layers. So it's get layers. I'm interchanging things. All right, so the method is going to be get layers. We already have Axios installed, so I'm just going to come and do a Google search of the Axios get, get method, the basic one. So Axios get uh, for view. Okay, so we have an uh, upvote here. Okay, so this is for a post. I will just change this to a view. So let me upvote, and this is because I have Gripper installed. So I'll just take this. We already have the method. Our method is, is already called um our method is called um uh get layers. So I'll just copy this. So this is the basic. However, there is a better one for having the uh, setting the base URL and whatsoever. But this is the basic because for us we're not sending tokens. You know the user is already logged in. So I'll get this. Okay. I'll copy this. Sorry. Only this because I already have the method, then I come and put it in here, okay? So I may need an async and a wait, okay? So that's that's no challenge. Okay, so um, when someone posts, okay, it's not going to be a post we are getting. When someone gets information, it is taken to the URL. So which URL we are creating? So I'll do stroke, maybe get layers get layers okay then i'm going to go to our um i'm going to go to our web routes first of all i'm going to create a route that i'm a, a controller that i'm going to call the layers controller and it will be helping me so i'm going to create the layers controller so i'll do php artisan i'll first do a copy uh, command c so that i and then i clear so let me clear that first then i'm going to do a PHP artisan, okay, make controller. Then I make a layers controller with a capital C on controller. Layers controller, then I press enter. Okay, so let's begin with the layers. We shall do others. So if we go to the, our controllers, I have a layers controller. Okay, so this layers controller is going to have a function. So let us first make the, the route that goes to the layers controller. Okay, so I need to come back to our web and then I do a route. Okay, so I can just do this and type layers because I may have several routes for the CRUD. Okay, layers just like that. So we're going to have a route, okay which will take in a get method, and then it will do a stroke, 
get layers, okay? And then it will take in to the array which will be operating under app stroke HTTP stroke in the controllers folder and then stroke in the layers controller. And then it is of a class. So that is a class. The layers controller is a class. And then we go ahead to now look into the methods. So the method can be different. But however, I'm going to give it the same as the uh, URL. So get layers. And then I go ahead and terminate. Right, so which means I need to go to get layers, okay? So the layers controller here, and then I create one called a public function. So public function, public function, get layers, okay? Which will be empty because it's not taking in. And then we do now use up here, so use up stroke models stroke layers okay because we're going to be tapping from layers then what we can do here okay is do that all layers okay user layers but i'm going to tap that user layers is equal to layers all all okay then i'm going to return a response so return because we expect a, a return uh, when we get the when we make the request so return okay a response and which response is into the response function is looking at receiving or getting giving us json data so which json will take in the user Okay, right now I'm putting it as user, but it's supposed to be user um, layers. So it will take in user layers. User layers. Okay, watch the space because this needs to be. In. So right now nothing will be done because I need to make sure that whenever this is mounted, that thing happens. So I'm going to go to our... Um, layers dot view so layers and then i write now because this is the method okay so this is the method and that's where it stops i'm going to write the mounted property so mounted when it's mounted okay okay when it's mounted so i usually want to have the other auto generated for me so v mounted okay so when it's mounted, we want this, okay, dot, now the method which is get layers to run by default the moment it's mounted. So we shall get, when we click on it, okay, we should get something here. But now it is working once it is mounted, okay? So let me first go to home, then click. So if we click on layers, okay, here it is. It's giving us a request failed with a status of 500. All right, so that's when we get to the inspect. So I'll do right click, then I choose inspect. Okay, then I'll click on network. I'm going to do that again. I don't know if it will. Okay, here it is. And then let's see what error that we are getting. So it's returning a response and the a function does not exist so it says function does not exist so let us check our code again uh, we go to web and then it is get layers okay so we have an error here this is supposed to be inside so sorry for that and that's where the issue is okay this time around when we click on broilers then we click on layers okay so it has returned the response, but the response is like object, object, object. But when I click on our inspection of the network, it has returned all users, okay? So, but we do not want to display information for all users. 
Instead, we want to display information for that auth or that logged in user, okay? However, if you want to display all users at a go, you will be looking into these arrays, but don't worry. So what are we going to do? Um, should I go around? Okay, let me go around and show you how to display all users um, just in a, in, a, in, in a nutshell. So we're going to go to all layers, okay? And then we want to display all users. So we, we, when we shall run this function when the item is mounted. Then instead of the alert, okay, we're going to get, um, first of all, we're going to return to write a data function, so v uh, data, okay, so vm data, this function, it will give us the, oh, no. So v data, v data. should be able to give us, okay. Then the return value here is going to be maybe all user layers, and then this will be empty. All right, so instead of response dot data, let's first return this value. I'll just do it somewhere above here. I'll do a B row. And then inside the B row, okay, I'm putting the, uh, let me put the B row inside the div because it's showing me issues. And then inside this B row, I'm going to do a P, okay? And then the P will take in this all user layers. Okay? So which means it should be able to display the word value. Okay, so when mounted, um, should be able to display the word value. And uh, okay, when mounted, it should. So which means I should here also return this dot all user layers. Oh, I don't need to terminate by the way there. Okay. So when mounted, that should occur. Come on, I'm not getting it displayed. Should I display it in the X column? Okay, instead of giving it a different one. Okay. So let me display it in the feeds column by default and we'll see what happens because Okay. Uh, okay, let me first do this. I think, let me make sure that it's not cached. Okay, here it goes. I think it was cached. So instead of value, I want to display all users returned. Okay. So I'm going to come to this response data and say, okay. This dot all users, because it's already going to be in this function, so I'm, I'm terminating it from here. And uh, just I'll just do that. I don't need this now. So I'm going to come here and return this dot all users, all user layers, all user layers will equal to, okay, response dot data response dot data we must create a special variable uh, called before we before we use this so what we're going to do we're going to create var which is equal to this okay so var x then we call x Okay, dot all the la layers and we see what we get. Okay, but we have another independent solution. So let's see. So when I click on home and then click on layers. Okay, all layers is not defined yet. So let me shift the X, um, the var X uh, before the 
Axios request, then save. Okay, I should be able to get some results. Let me see if I click, I'm still getting the same error. Let me first uh, make sure that the page is mounted again. Okay, and if I click, okay, here is the array. So we're going to loop through this array and display. Now, I don't need to use to initiate var x. Instead, I'm just going to remove the function here, okay? Then, and use the arrow pointer because that will be better. So I'll do point like that. Then also remove function here and then use arrow pointer. Okay, I guess this time around I should get the same results. So when I click and click on home, okay, then click on layers. Okay, so X is not defined, sorry. <laughs> I should now this time around choose to use this dot. Okay, so Laravel, click on home and then click on layers, and then the same is displayed. So I'm going to look through this to display now the items. All right, so what I'm going to do is...